Being an adult sure does look good. Actually, now that I have trousers. Hey guys, it's Flash right here, welcoming you to another Legend of Zelda Ocarina of Time episode. In the last episode, we finally became an adult. And... We learned that seven years has passed since we pulled the Master Sword out of the stone, so... So in this episode, we're going to see how Hyrule has changed over the last seven years. So let us go. Gee, it sure is boring around here. Okay, looks like a lot has changed. One, it looks like uh, Lord Slug from Dragon Ball Z has taken over. I'm going to go complain about this to Ganon. And now we have a zombie apocalypse! Woo hey! Um, don't want to go that way yet. Because, for simple reason, um, there's nothing for us there. I see no point. Why can't I... Right, if we go in here... Actually, uh, that's something I do want to show off. This guy right here, if you have any pose that you caught in bottles, you want to go and collect the, get those two. Normal pose are worth uh, t 50, 10 to 20, and the larger ones are worth 50, so it's, it's an okay rupee grind. Right, so what Sheik has told us to do is to go to Kakariko Village and go to the graveyard and see what's up there. So. Let us go over there. Let's see. Yeah, I'm walking and I'm not even moving my feet. Right, so moving on. Right, so in Kakarika, this is where all of the Hyrulean citizens who were in Hyrule Castle Town when you were a kid. I moved to, so pretty nice thing there. So you will find everything here. You will find your potion shop. You'll find your bazaar shop. You'll find the archery game. Uh, you'll find the crazy old lady that wants things out of bottles and give you rupees for them. It's basically the same thing, really. Right. First thing we want to go though, we want we don't want to go straight to the graveyard right yet. We, there's something that I want to get out of the way. And it will become a bit more useful. Re Actually, no, it is required for later in the game. So, uh, even though I'll be here in the next five minutes, I would want to get it right now. Go talk to the um, old man again. Hmm, what happened seven years ago? I don't think we did that. A strange song. This was a song I was trying to do like about ten or so episodes ago. So <laughs> this is where I, this is where you gotta get it. Now we have the ability to call forth rain. This is, a, this is actually quite useful for getting some special things around the game, so you want to... There's a few areas that I know that give you these certain special items for playing the Song of Storms. Oh, I don't have to walk around. Um, and I will be going over those when I get to... when I get... when I'm near... Blah, 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 when I'm near them. Yeah, there we go. Right, so into the graveyard we go. Oh yeah, about the last episode, I don't know really what happened with YouTube's time limit, they really cracked down on the regulations right here, then what they're doing now is, if you've got anything at all that has a copyright claim, um, um, you'll get yourself, um, just a thing that you can't upload videos over 15 minutes, so that's going to affect my Let's Play now. Come on. There we go. Um, 
Do I want to collect this pearl? No, I don't. Oh! I'll th the little plant thing I um, planted about a couple of episodes ago is finished. So let's go see what that contains. It contains a piece of heart! Yeah, the, basically all the ones that are planted will get you to a piece of heart, apart from the one in Zora's Domain. That one will give me, um... That one will, will become a bit useful later in the game, so... So we want to open this grave right here. Pretty much everything with the flowers right in front of it pretty much marks the, um, spot of a grave. But what is it? Hmm. Looks like we have a ghost right here. Let's have a race, okay then. Right, you can't beat him no matter what, so it's basically just keep up with him. Just watch the fire. I'm not going the fastest way because I'm just... I'm not particularly confident in going the fast way. I know there's some shortcuts that I want to take, but... Some of the... Ah, damn you! That's a bit of a roll now. I want to catch up. Yeah. Uh -huh. Yeah, our time will start counting down if you don't get through the door and it will close in time. That means you get teleported back to the start. Alright, now you want to take this this one right here because this one's a little bit of a shortcut. Alright, now it's just a matter of just getting up there. Within time. You'll get through that 58 seconds then. Done! Speak to him after when you did that. It's called the hook shot. So now we get a chest, and we're gonna get his treasure, which is already said is the hook shot. This is quite. This is like one of the more useful items that you get as a doll in the game. This basically means you can hook to anything that's hookable, e.g., wood, e.g., wood and metal. Anything that that hook shot can cling on to, you can get up there. So it's a quick way to get up to um to get up chain ladders. Quick way to get up uh. Trees, anything really that you could um, hit, really, that thing. So the only way out is through here, but you want to remember the song of time for this because you can't go back. So what you need to do is you need to play the song of time. Since it's got that logo on it, you're going to have to come up to the lo Every time when you see this box, the song of time is required in order to open it. So that will become a lot useful, and now we'll be able to climb up here. And we're back in the windmill! I could have done that, and now... Ah, I'm not going to forget what I just said right there. What you want to do, you definitely want to get this. You want to wait for this to come level with you. And then hit the Z button. Well, hit the Z, hit the, um, Z button. So you can get level with it. And we get another piece of heart. We're getting through quite a lot of them now. There's quite a lot around this area. There's still actually quite a few I, I know off by heart that we can get a lot through the game. So we'll get ourselves a lot of pieces of heart during this game. Right. So now that we've done that, um, I want to get started on a bit of a mini quest. Well, uh, an optional quest line which is really helpful if you do it. You go talk to the lady that was, um, that you had to have the cuckoo pen. She's gonna give you a pocket cuckoo. Basically, you gotta have to lo wake up a lazy old, m well, lazy late rises out of bed, that's what she says. 
Um, sure. Not entirely happy right now. You only have to wake up one person in order to do this, and it's here in Kakariko Village, so you don't really have to do that much for it. And look at you for me, I have the Sun Song, so I can instantly do this two, two more times, and then it, this egg will hatch pretty quickly. So. Forgetting the song, I'm forgetting the sun song yet again. It's it's one of the songs that I really frequently forget, and you didn't see you you can't see me you can't see me hit that star button. Uh, um, yeah, that, I was trying to play that. What the hell? There we go. Game decides to actually cooperate with me on this one. Play it again. I have to look at the um, controller now in order to do this because <laughs> so sensitive, really, really sensitive. All right now that we got the chicken, we got chicken. We're now gonna wake up this. All right then, don't backflip over the edge like a boss. But no. Okay, so the guy that we want to wake up is in this building right here. Watch me be crazily wrong, but yeah, I am right. So um, we come over here, and we have a familiar face. So we want to equip the chicken and wake him up. Hmm, looks like the London Ranch is in a new management. About time. So, uh, now that we've done that, we need to go return the chicken. In order to do the whole of this little mini quest line, you need... Well, we need to be at some point during the game where we have a certain item. In order to get to places quickly. Yet, there is, play there is certain trials as that where you have to get to some place within a set amount of time in which you failed. Right then... <sighs> To show it to you. Yeah, it doesn't take much to make chicken happy. Yeah. <laughs> Since I'm a regular eater of chicken, I know how to make chicken happy. And now we're about to get a, a blue chicken or a blue cuckoo that the name I cannot pronounce, but it's Kojiro, but yeah, I think you need to have a certain special accent to pronounce that properly. So I'm just gonna say blue chick for now. Yeah, that's what I'm calling it. I'm calling it blue chick. We won't be having it for long anyway, so. Um, I'm thinking that we're about done in Kakariko Village right now because there's nothing much that we can do. So what we wanna do now is we wanna leave. Actually, no, there's one thing I want to show- no, no, hang on. Do I want to show it off now, or show it off next episode? Well, I can't really risk having, um, missing things next episode, so I'm going to do it now. What you want to do is you want to hit your Rogue Arena. I should have done this at the very start of the episode. And you play the Sarit song. Yeah, Navi was going to tell you to do this, but... I prefer that you should do this automatically as soon as you come up. She's saying that we're safe, great. Hear from us again, she's in the forest temple, where the hell is that? And they were calling for help, but it's a trap! Wait, no, no, we gotta do, we gotta, we gotta do this the proper way. It's a trap! Okay, so she wants help, but... We're not going to do it quite yet. What we want to do, actually, 
that's about it for this episode. So in the next time of Legend of Zelda Ocarina of Time, we're going to Longland Ranch to see what's happening there and see what we can do. So I'll see you guys next episode.